Starting on the ailerons. Now we're putting the weights on. Anti-vibration weights, I call them. Don't know what the proper name is. Oh, uh, we're getting ready to. We got to take the plastic off under them. They're ready to be glued down on this one. Got all the hose drilled. Three in the back. Four in the middle. And then we have four on this side, which has not been drilled. Hmm. Okay, we start here with the pile of materials. All these and a few several rivets. We slide this piece in first, rivet it in, and we flip through here and then we'll show you. And we had to had to build a wooden block to hold this thing level, it just says. And that's how the pieces go together. So the first thing we do is we trim these down to a half inch a piece and then they go in this bushing here. And then this bushing has to be this has to be trimmed down to this bushing goes on. La 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 la. So, you won't believe this, but everything has worked almost perfect on this. First thing we did was rivet the rivet the uh, trailing edge here. Yet, but we used hard rivets. Uh, you can use pop rivets. But the, these flush mount rivets lay a little better and look a lot better to me when you when you get them painted, the ones I've looked at. So that's what we're doing. Anyway, we put the end cap in as I showed you a while ago. If I can get the Osmos to catch up with me here. Okay, we got the end cap put in. There's the two bushings I was talking about a while ago. You trim those down to a half inch. They actually fit inside this. hand right here that goes on the plane and if you notice down the wing they're all where all the tapes are at those are all hinges and we'll get into mounting it here after a while maybe so you trim those and put those on there and this is supposed to be 35 inches from here to the next one and uh, then you take this ring that they send you and you make a cut in it and then once you make the cut well then the ring We'll go on here if you had two hands. Can help you? Yeah, can you spread that out? Probably not, but I'll try. All right. Susie, the airplane builder, slid that on there for me. That goes on there. Now we put four rivets here. Oop, oop, oop. No, we don't. Then we get this piece. The bushing says to trim off whatever. Uh, powder coating you need to for the bushing to fit and believe it or not I just barely had to touch it up a little bit and the bushing went right on there and then the bushing slides in here let's see it goes to six and three quarter inches from the hinge which has all been measured out and now we have to level this arm the top of this arm has to be level with the top of this which is the same as the top of this so we just level the top of this, level this, 35 and a half inches from this hinge to that hinge, the next hinge down there, 35 inches, 35 and a half inches, I'm sorry, read your book. <laughs> and then it's six and three quarter from here to this one. And then we put four rivets here and three rivets here and there you go. These little wooden holders here, my friend Daryl sent me this one. He said he wasn't going to build another one that he knew of, so I was tickled to get it. That saved me probably two or three hours having to build that thing. Maybe longer than that, the way I build. But uh, it's all coming together pretty good. So I won't bore you with the drilling hose and riveting, but we'll get this fixed up, and then we'll come back and see what's going on then. Okay, we're starting to put the hinges on here. you got to have a spacer in here 
it says put a washer spacer. I had another one of these regular ailerons on here, so I'm using it for a spacer. Got clamped on here. Let's see if I can get up a camera show of this. It's supposed to be an eighth inch hangover off the back. Uh, I put a eighth inch mark. Let's see if it'll focus. I have an eighth inch pencil mark on my aluminum. I know you're not supposed to mark lead pencil on aluminum, but this is a scrap piece. You put it up against the washer that's on there, and then I can't get you guys putting the right angle here, but up against the washer, eighth inch. I don't know if you guys can see the gap or not. Let me bring it underneath here. Anyway, you get the gist of it. Get you something that, that you can mark your eighth inch off with as you slide them. Number one and number nine in place, and the rest of them go wherever they should. I mean, they should be in the same place, but they may be a little off. Uh, but you hang the other one on one and nine, and then you hope the other ones fit on the wing ribs when you get to them. All right, we'll get them socked on and show you them in a minute. Okay guys, a good day today. We started at 10.30 this morning. We was hoping to get this, I was hoping to get one aileron mounted. I thought if we could get that done. So we started this morning, we started putting our, uh, we had to put the rivets in the back end here. Uh, you have to put them down across the back end. Uh, each one of these hinges, this mechanism here, of course, I showed you a while ago on the other video, or showed you, I showed you this earlier. Then we had to come back and put our brackets on. Oh, I got four more hose to drill. Other than that, though, we have ailerons now. Flapperons, I guess they call them. They're your flaps and your ailerons. They're mounted, functional. I'll show you one hanger here, pretty simple. Uh, they've already, we've already mounted the, the brackets underneath here back earlier, a steel bracket uh, rivets underneath the wood. And then this will be riveted together, the two pieces of steel for each mount. You have one, two, three, five mounts that they pivot on. And it uh, looks pretty simple. We had to put a weight on here. Got counterbalances. Let's see if I can turn it up here. Had to put the counterbalances on there. It's a little after five now. We started ten o'clock this morning, so in my opinion we had a pretty good day. Everything went together relatively simple. Looking good. Have one more to put on next time if now that we know what we're doing, it may not take this long. I was happy getting it down, you know, in this seven hour period, really. A lot of work goes there you don't see, but I didn't want to bore you with it either. But this is your control arm, this will this will come from the fuselage when we hook it up to the to the fuselage over there. Your two control arms come out the fuselage and hook here. And of course, when you move your stick, that's what will move your ailerons and your flapper flaps. Okay. Saturday afternoon, Susan says it's quitting time, so we're out of here. <laughs> Anything you want to say, Susan? No. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Dick? <laughs> Anything you want to say? Huh? Anything you want to say? Oh yeah, he wants to show me a snake. He got a snake while ago. All right, let's go see it. Catch you next time. All right, we're planting the runway. Putting a crop of weed. Making it 
is 60 foot by about a thousand. We got a few more trees there we're going to take out behind us. And we're just, we have 1320 available, but there's a small power line on this end of the field, so there's, it's uh, be unusable for landing anyway, so we decided just to stop at a thousand. You have a 320 foot uh, to shoot at after you cross the small power line there. I'm not sure what when we'll plant grass or if we'll plant grass we're not sure if it's where we want it or so we're just kind of getting one out here no more after a year hopefully we'll be able to be landing out here we'll see well, we already planted it we've got a little left so we're going back down the middle of it <laughs> 